So March is Colon Cancer Awareness Month, and researchers have discovered a troubling trend that uh, colon cancer is on the rise in young adults, unfortunately. Now, colon cancer occurs usually when there's a mutation in your colon, and that can form a polyp, and oftentimes the polyps can be harmless, but in time, the polyps can develop into cancer. Now, in uh, 1995, colon cancer uh, accounted for 11%, and in 2019, it was up to uh, 20%. So, um, and researchers also theorize that it might be the leading cause of cancer deaths for those ages 20 to 49 by 2040. Um, now, colon cancer, it, it can uh, present itself by like rectal bleeding or abdominal, abdominal um, pain, but always uh, not necessarily. So um, researchers kind of theorize, you know, really what's causing this and they kind of think, well, um, it might obesity, you know, increasing rates of obesity might be a factor or, you know, more so like our sedentary lifestyles or eating a lot of processed foods, that kind of thing. Another big part that influences it, of course, is genetics. And I really, my family has a poor uh, family history of, of colon cancer. So important for me to get screened. Um, also, if you have, you know, people in your family who have had it before, important for you to get screened. Um, kind of a weird thing too. Uh, they discovered, or I think it was a Cleveland clinic, discovered that in the Midwest and Great Lakes region had uh, for some reason, a higher uh, concentration of colon cancer. They're still looking into that as to why. Um, also, uh, Black Americans, Native Americans, and Alaska Natives have um, just just proportionately higher amounts of colon cancer. So if you fall into those categories, also something to look out for. Um, now, people are eligible at age 45 to get a colonoscopy. And researchers really want to push that age lower. Unfortunately, right now it's 45. Unless you have family history, then your doctor might recommend um, getting it earlier. So again, it's important to get those regular checkups. Your doctor can, you know, tell you if, uh, you know, with your family history and everything that uh, if you should get screened. Um, and if you want to lower your risk of colon cancer, well, you know, it's kind of the same old thing. Um, you know, it's important exercise and you can join us here on 12 for fit if you need exercise. Um, also, it's about eating right, you know, staying away from processed foods, you know, not eating out um, all the time, you know, trying, um, you know, eat whole healthy foods, you know, some things that you can do to um, lower your risk of uh, colon cancer, at least researchers theorize. But also, uh, I can tell you I've had a um, colonoscopy before. The procedure itself, you know, is, you know, you're asleep, so you really don't even feel anything. It's just a prep that really kind of stinks because you prep, you know, for, you know, a day in advance and everything. But um, I guess it's kind of a small price to pay, you know, if you can avoid colon cancer. So those are my thoughts. And again, um, need to increase your exercise. Well, you can join us on 12 for Fit and uh, we'll see you in the next exercise.